What is up everyone, Barricade here and bringing you guys a quick Gears 5 update video. I actually wanted to take a quick look at the My Tour and just kind of give my thoughts on it. Um, so if you guys know, it's already out, available right now. Um, and so the very first thing we saw right off the bat here is we see Collector Winter Armor Marcus. I actually really like the color scheme for this character skin. I actually think it looks pretty damn good. And I wouldn't mind seeing more characters with this type of uh, motif when it comes to the colors and everything. Kind of reminds me of like Black Steel or something along those lines. So it's actually a really nice looking skin. Um, and the rest so far, so we get some iron kind of quick here, which is kind of nice. And then we do get some weapon skins, banners, of course. And then the one thing I really wanted to discuss real quick was the Onyx Guard. Because I noticed a lot of people really wanted to have Onyx Guard back in uh, Gears. Because uh, we haven't really had them in the game since Gears of War 3. Um, and I do like how Onyx Guard is actually unlockable pretty damn early in the tour. So... If you're someone that just really wants Onyx Guard, you don't really have to grind too much for him, which is pretty nice. Um, but the one thing I did want to talk about real quick that's kind of disappointing is when it comes to this character, his skin, his uh, voice is the same as the Cog Gear. It, it's literally no different. Um, so that's the thing that uh, my friend, he told me he, he got this character, tried him out and everything already. He really liked uh, Onyx Guard, wanted him right away, and he found out that... Um, it just simply has the same voice as Cog Gear, which is really disappointing in the end because in Gears 3, Onyx Guard had a really, uh, really good voice and the stuff that he would say was really cool. Um, but knowing that the Onyx Guard in this game is just literally just the skin for the normal Cog Gear is kind of disappointing overall, I'll admit. Um, and then so as we go on, we just got more weapon skins. That one, I do think the Onyx Guard skins are pretty f nice too. Um, then we got more banners, iron. I do like how iron has been kind of spread out kind of more. I felt like in the original tour, we didn't really get too much of it. So it feels kind of nice that it's, uh, you know, coming up a lot. And then we got classic Kate, a skin that I personally would like to get because Kate's actually one of my favorite characters. Um, the gutted execution from, you know, when Rom does his, you know, old school execution like he killed uh, Min with. So that's going to be pretty damn awesome. I actually do want to get that. Then we got the Hive Buster Lizzie. The one thing I do want to say is wouldn't that be pretty damn cool for all the um, characters that you play as in Escape if they had a Hive Buster variation? That would be pretty damn cool. I would like to see that. You know, Hive Buster Lizzie looks really interesting. Obviously, we never got to see her like that because she died real quick in the story, unfortunately. Um, so she was never really a Hive Buster as from what I've known in the storyline. The only ones that really did that, um, that was busting hives, was... The three main characters from Escape that are in the comics. Um, but, you know, maybe she was. I mean, they never really said otherwise, you know. But from what I could tell, she was just a cog gear. Um, and then we got more banners, iron ba banners, skins. Um, this one is weird. What the hell? Workout Foz. <laughs> I feel like that's kind of like a troll skin. Um, I don't know. I can't really f see anyone taking that skin seriously. <laughs> it's really weird. Um... The DR1 Protector, that's interesting. That that looks kind of like the a different, quite a bit different version of the DB there. The one thing that I always felt that was really weird about the DBs though is I hated how in Gears 4 they were Locust characters, but now, or Swarm characters, and then in this game, they're Cog. I mean, it makes sense from a story standpoint, but from a multiplayer standpoint, if you played Gears 4 a lot, it kind of throws me off, honestly. Um, so I, I, I just thought it's just something I wanted to say. Um, the Gilded Baird. <clears throat> definitely a very good skin that's the one thing I like he has the classic look he has his hair again <laughs> and he just looks pretty damn awesome he kind of looks like he's old still though I could be wrong it, it's kind of hard to see with a small picture but he almost looks like he's old but with hair so I could be wrong though but you know you guys can correct me on that one uh, so another DB dead eye iron <laughs> finger pistols expression and the blood red speaker well that's interesting that actually looks pretty damn cool. I wouldn't mind unlocking that. But overall from the tour, from what I've seen, the only things I really, really want to get up to eventually, if I do actually play the game a lot, is the Baird. Because I really think he looks pretty damn cool. Um, but overall, I don't know if I really will play. You know, to be honest, I, I kind of uh, got burned out of this game really quick because of how I felt like it lacked a lot of content. Um, you guys seen my videos talking about that. But maybe I'm hoping that this tour will kind of bring players back, bring the community back. Um, I feel like the game's kind of dying a little too soon, um, and I really don't want it to because, you know, I love Gears of War, and I really do want to have a reason to come back. Um, fortunately, one thing is my favorite character is Dom, but it doesn't look like we're going to be getting him anytime soon, so 
I think it kind of sucks. Last thing I kind of wanted to talk about real quick is the characters in the store or the ones that you can unlock um, <clears throat> via challenges. Uh, sorry if my voice sounds kind of weird. I kind of have like a weird throat thing going on. I've been kind of sick for a while. Um, just kind of want to say that real quick. Uh, but now, so we can unlock Lizzie, uh, Baird, um, and then of course the Jermod and Locust Drone. If you guys didn't know, Jermod, he was actually a character in the Rise of Rom comics. He was actually a very uh, small part. Uh, that was kind of funny how people wanted him really bad in the game, like instantly as soon as he was like out in the comics. Me personally, I was just kind of like, oh, he looks cool. I didn't really think twice about it because he was just like a very small character. But his character design does look pretty damn cool. Um, I do like how he has like the, you know, the, the way his visor looks, his armor. It's a pretty damn look, good looking Locust character to be honest. I think he's pretty damn cool. But yeah guys, I just wanted to make a quick video. Kind of just sharing my thoughts about the my tour and the new characters. And, you know, see what you guys think. Do you feel like this is something that could bring you back to the game? Do you feel like you would play Gears 5 a lot more now to try to unlock these? Do you feel like this is a step in the right direction? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But anyways guys, thanks for watching and take it easy. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see my most recent Gears of War video, hit that link on the left. If you want to see any of my other content, hit that link on the right. Thanks for watching, guys.